So throughout the Flower and Garden Festival here at Epcot, they have different gardens that they're featuring too. So we did the Butterfly Garden and this is the Blossoms of Fragrance. So it's about all the flowers that smell really nice. Go over here. Australian Violet, some Lavender. Ooh. So I guess you smell. Yep, smells like lavender. The word lavender comes from the Latin verb lavar, which means to wash. So it's no wonder why this herbaceous fragrance is infused with memories of warm baths, spas, and relaxation. So this is actually some lavender right here. Hmm. Floral, lilacs and violets smell. Hmm. That one doesn't smell very strong. Should get a picture here. This is pretty. Yeah, I was going to take a little video. Here's spice, cinnamon, vanilla. Ooh, yeah, that smells good. Vanilla plant. Yeah. Cinnamon. The woods, it's black forest pine. It's the woods that smelled good. They smelled like Christmas trees. Citrus, sun-kissed citrus. Mmm. Yeah, that smells good. What's that funky-looking thing? alien like something you'd find in Pandora and fruity pineapple pucker oh I can smell it from here actually hmm. <coughs> smells good Is that pineapple there we go Pretty, very pretty. Little blossoms of fragrance. Okay, we just came across the, straight back from the, the Epcot ball um, into World Showcase, and in front is Sorcerer Mickey with his uh, dancing broomsticks and the little, um, the dancing, um, Ostr Ostr ostriches from Fantasia over there and the hippopotamus and the alligator super cute okay here's the this was always one of my favorite parts in Fantasia was the dancing um, ostriches and I kind of forgot about like all the gold statues that are here for fi the 50th still I've seen a few of them around, but I've just been more into the topiaries, so I just haven't paid attention. But there's Coco. Hey, we're headed to Troll and Trellis, where we're gonna try the uh, Im uh, impossible, or the boneless impossible Korean short ribs. People say they're really good. We're not really like fake meat eater people, but we'll give it a try. Okay, from Troll and Trellis, this is the uh, Boneless Impossible Korean Short Ribs with cilantro, lime rice, Danmuji slaw, and kimchi mayonnaise. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? Dan's real nervous. <laughs> he wanted real ribs, which I, I understand. I like impossible stuff, but I thought it was real ribs. <laughs> A little bit of everything almost. We get the bok choy in. <laughs> Kimchi's good. Or whatever that is. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tastes like a not quite meat loaf. <laughs> so, not my fave. Okay. It's not bad though. This if you're a vegetarian. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You agree with my assessment? <laughs> not quite meat loaf. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, next on the menu is Jardin de Fiestas. I think we're gonna get all three of these things the enchilada, taco vampiro, and tostada de chorizo, and the. Ooh, both those margaritas oh, look good. So cool. You're gonna be blown away. Oh, wow. Um, I told you. Hmm. Which one do I want? How many times have been over here? We never noticed that. Look at the poppy flower one. Wow. Here's the little booth where we're getting the uh, Mexican food from. It's right across from the Mexico Pavilion. It's got a nice breeze. It's nice because it's cooling it off a little bit. Okay, at Jar Jardin de Fiestas, we got the, um, so this one is the Taco Vampiro. It has barbacoa beef and a corn tortilla with crispy grilled Monterey Jack cheese and esquitas. And then this guy over here is the uh, Enchilada de Mole Negro. And it is described as chipotle chicken in a corn tortilla with mole negro, avocado mousse, crema mexicana, and queso fresco. And then this one, this guy here, is the poppy flower margarita. It has uh, caramia tequila blanco, hibiscus flower tea, cucumber juice, aperitivo, and leger blackcurrant liqueur with a chili salt rim. It all looks really good. I'm gonna try the drink first, I think. I'm gonna try this drink. Mmm. It's an interesting flavor. It's a little smoky. I like that salt rim, but it's also sweet. Really good, delicious. Maybe I'll try, I think I'll try the um, enchilada first. See how this goes, trying to make a bite, get a little bit of everything. Chicken, mole, all right. Mm. On the side. Look at that spicy. I like that. It's a little spicy. The sauce at first was kind of sweet. You know, because mole sauce is kind of chocolatey. Um, that's good though. Take another bite. Chicken is shredded inside there. It's got a little green onion and um, it's like co cojita cheese on top. Avocado mousse. Try to get another bite here. A little bit of everything. Yeah, that's good. I think Dan will eat like that a lot. Okay, the taco. Let's see. I'm thinking I might just pick that up with my hands. It's got barbacoa in there. It's got like a cheesy shell on the outside. It looks delicious. Yeah, that's really good. It's like, you got the cheese on there if you like make a grilled cheese. And the cheese gets real um, like hard on the, on the pan, like crunchy. It's what the shell is like made out of. So it's so good. It's like a little bit of a corn <laughs> on the side here. Looks like it might have tahini and a little drizzle something on there. Mm. Yeah. All this is really, really good. I really love Mexican food though, so. I'd probably say this is my favorite booth so far. This is one. It's really good. I'm excited to see what Dan thinks. I left half of each one for him. I think it's bad. <clears throat> 
So Dan's trying the uh, enchilada. You'll probably like it. It's you know mole sauce. Yeah. It's kind of at first I was like I was like ooh it tastes kind of burnt and then it, I don't know it changed as <laughs> so I was chewing it. Yeah, it has a little spice to it. It's got like an avocado like crema on top a little bit. Yeah, tasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, vam vampire taco. Oh, this is your vampire taco? <laughs> I like that one a lot though, because I like the burnt like cheese like crisps around the edge. <laughs> the corn, it's like, wow. here I am. Is that? Corn. Don't forget me. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, so it's all pretty good. I'm sweating on the inside. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. Area. Let's go that way to the left. To the left, to the left. Because remember how this used to be a troll ride? What was it called? Uh, Malstrom, yeah. The troll. Outside of Norway, Anna and Elsa's house is over there. They usually do a meet and greet. It looks like it's a 20 minute wait. That breeze is so nice. Anna and Elsa, topiaries. Looking pretty. I'd like to watch like a video on how they make these things. Back here in the Norway pavilion, we've got the frozen ever after. 70? That's a little long. Yeah, too long? Yeah. Okay. What'd you think? I would wait 70, but. Oh, 70? Dan, let me go on frozen ever after. It's a 70 minute wait. We'll see if it actually is. I have no idea. Got Sven and Kristoff up there. This is inside the queue of Frozen Ever After. They've got it all done up like you're outside in a little village. It's super cute. It's got these lanterns hanging from house to house. I was just looking at the weather and it's uh, the hottest part of the day right now, about 3 o'clock. It's 93 degrees. So we decided to come in this line even though it's a little bit longer than we would like to wait for Gross Never After. Um, just kind of, yeah, letting the food settle in our tummies and, uh, you know, AC, but it's not, it's not kicking like it was at Soren. <laughs> so, but it's okay. It's okay. It's better than being out in 93 degrees. So, um, yeah, just show you this queue and this ride when we get up there. I just noticed they have, uh, who is that? Or on a on the in the light fixture right there. You see it? It's a young Anna. Yeah, it looks like Anna. Hey, we I think we're going in, yeah, the sign over here. It says we're going into Oaken's what's it say? Oaken's tokens and sauna. It's right in here. Welcome. I think so. It's a cute little cabin. 
feel real good to the half, yeah? Get on little boats for this ride. It's a water, a boat ride through the story of uh, Frozen. Here comes our ride vehicle, number 26. the China Pavilion. There's three of them. Oh. Okay, at the, uh, I don't know how you say this, Bauern Mart. Gonna get the toasted pretzel bread with the uh, melted Gruyere cheese. Maybe something else, we'll see. I don't think we want any beer though. I'm gonna get them a so this is from the Germany little booth called Bauernmart. It's like the pretzel bread with a ham and Gruyere cheese. Yeah. Reviews I've seen, people really love this thing, so. Yeah, it looks like ours was maybe the last. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, good flavor. Good flavor. <laughs> the, the actual pretzel roll is not that much flavor. Oh, okay. It's more whatever. What is it? The ham? I think it's like ham. Yeah, you can tell it's been sitting under the hot thing for a little while. So yeah, that's too bad. I think it could be better. Yeah. Well, it's not bad. You want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it. Mmm, <laughs> popcorn. I think. Yeah, the pretzel's really stale. Yeah. Pretzel's kind of meh, it's the worst. It's like crunchy. Yeah. yeah. I think it had been sitting there a while. But, I mean, ham and cheese, you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Ham and guer, or I still don't know how to say it. Okay, we just finished at the Germany Bauernmart. 
pavilion, or not pavilion, um, booth. And we came across Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There she is with Dopey. And then if you turn over this way, you get the other six guys. Can you name them? Yeah, I just did. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. So Doc. That must be Grumpy. Happy. 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 No, that's like Sleepy. Sleepy, that's what I meant. Yeah, I don't know. That's Sneezy. That's Dopey. No, don't be the one over by yeah. Snow White. <laughs> what one is this? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Send, leave it down below. <laughs> that bugs me. I want to know. I just watched the movie like All two right. weeks ago. <laughs> All right. We all know who that is. The Pigster, Miss Piggy. And Kermie. What's up, buddy? We got the train. Italian Garden Italiano, and they've got some thyme, some oregano, and we're right by Primavera Kitchen where we are going to, we want the food, but we're kind of full right now, so we're just going to get the um, Italian margarita, I believe, so here's the, no one's in line. <laughs> so good. It's so lemony, right? It's super lemony. But not sweet. It's perfect. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the stuff at the Ital or the, at this booth is like way more expensive than anything else at the festival. It's like thirteen and fourteen dollars for the little tasters. The drink, drink was only eleven. So part of the uh, Flower and Garden Festival is this uh, Latin ambition. Garden Rocks Blood Concerts. Sweat <laughs> Blood, Sweat and Tears. But there's like a big stage down there where people perform. It's like a rotating sort of um, artists come through and perform. Here's the America Pavilion. America. America. Still have never done, um, we could go in and do the uh, American Adventure show. I thought you were going to say turkey legs. Ew, no. Okay, we came across uh, Chippendale and, oh, sorry. Thanks. Chippendale and Pluto here outside the America Pavilion. Looking cute. There's the Magnolia Terrace booth, which has some things we wanted to try, but we're just so full at this point. We're just kind of Magnolia Terrace. Yeah, I think it had like some seafood options that we were looking oh, at, like, like oysters or something. I don't know, something that we probably don't want to eat right now. Well, I can't eat nothing right now. I like these lights across the top. That's pretty. All right, outside of the uh, here's the pretty Japan pavilion area. It's really cool. Out here we have the dragon topiary. Looks cool. Yeah. So yummy. We're going to get the Grand Marnier orange slush here at Levin de Chef de France. <laughs> How is it? It's very, very good. Yeah. Well, this is one of my favorite things to see. 
is that right there? Jet behind you, dude. Let's turn you around, actually. There we go. <laughs> It kind of tastes like a dream like a cream, orange cream sickle. I think you said you don't remember, but it tastes like a baby aspirin. A really good one. Do you remember those? The chewable orange ones? No, not really. Yeah. It's yummy. For me. <laughs> so, I don't know about that, but I'm sure we'll finish it before then. So, we. ate ourselves full <laughs> so um and it's you know it's been pretty a pretty hot day it's about 5 30 right now we got here at like it was probably like noon 11 30 noon when we got here and it's been like 90 93 degrees so yeah. we are gonna head, head home yeah back to the resort and we may just kind of make plans to venture out later when yeah. it cools off Possibly. go get dinner somewhere no nope, 100 yeah maybe. we Have may pass out tomorrow. i know we may pass out on the bed and just go to bed uh but we'll see we can do whatever we want okay cheers cheers we're gonna enjoy this drink from the flower what is it flower and garden flower and garden yeah from us to you have yeah. a good time Hi. be nice to each other oh, oh. somebody else says that sorry be sweet.